Hi everyone! I'm Tony Doritan. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will be doing the Tipid Graduation Makeup Tutorial. Yes, you heard it right because it's already a graduation season and for sure all the girls out there, high school or college, na graduating, especially yung may mga imperfections sa face like me, na may dark spot, acne scars, don't worry because you are on the right channel. So before I start putting on my makeup, the first thing I will do is I will moisturize my face using this Actua Moisturizer Whitening Vita. This is a water-based moisturizer, so perfect to sa my oily skin condition. And I bought this for a very affordable price, parang 20 pesos sa Watson. Let's start na. Konti lang. The next thing I will do after moisturizing my face is to put on foundation. And for my foundation on this tutorial is still the Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade 220. I will be using Dump Sponge kasi maganda ang finish. Uunahin ko lang muna yung half of my face para makita nyo yung coverage nito. So, this is the first layer. As you can see, makikita pa rin yung mga marks ko sa face. Magsi-second layer tayo para mas ma-cover up pa siya. Pero, ibi-blend natin siya ng maayos para hindi siya mag-crease. Okay? Matagal talaga ako mag-foundation. Kasi, I want to make sure na hindi mag-bubuo-buo yung foundation sa face ko. Let's go now to the other side. Pag mag-graduation makeup kayo, especially those um, in college or in high school, syempre dapat light lang yung makeup mo. Ilalag kasi high school ka pa lang eh. Tsaka, di naman party yung pupuntahan mo. Mas simple, mas maganda. Kaya, huwag tayong maglagay ng kung ano-ano sa face. So, we are done with the foundation. Meron pa rin nakitang onting mga marks sa face ko. Then, ang gagawin natin is i-conceal natin yung mga natirang or nakikita pang people marks sa face ko. For the concealer, I will be using this Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 10 or light. Ilalagay ko lang siya sa under eye. Takpan natin yung mga dark circles. Kung nagpuyat ka, may may mark pa ng pagpupuyat. Then, sama natin yung mga acne marks. This concealer is affordable. Parang nabili ko siya ng $1.99. I don't know if it's the sale price. Ha? So, gagamitin ko rin yung same sponge. It is a dump sponge siya. Upward. Make sure na nakablend yung concealer nyo nung mabuti. Siyempre, if you notice na hindi bantay yung kulay ng face nyo, ipantay nyo na rin sa neck nyo. Kaya, maglagay kayo ng foundation. Kasi parang obvious na obvious na hindi pantay. To set our concealer and foundation, I will be using the Nichido Setting Powder. This is only 150 sa Watson or sa Landmark. So, isi-set ko na yung face ko. Then, again, I will be using the baking method kasi oily skin ako. Sa graduation, yung program mahaba. Pipila ka, magmamarcha ka. Then, the program, marami pang activities. Kaya, dapat strong din yung kapit ng makeup mo. Kaya, make sure na nakablend and long-lasting siya. If you have oily skin, ibibake mo. While baking it, the next thing I will do is my brows. Gagawin ko yung brows ko using this EB Advanced Perfect Eye eyebrows. This is super mura. I'm not sure with the price. Ito check ko. Ilalagay ko sa description. Then, check nyo na lang doon. So, a-outline muna natin si brows. Brown pala ang gamit ko. Medium brown. May YouTuber na favorite tong local makeup. Masyado pigmented tong product na to. Kaya, pang-outline ko siya. Then, i-spread ko na lang sa buong brows ko. Yan, ganyan lang. Then, kukuha ko ng angle brush para pangkalat dun sa in-outline ko. Kalat lang natin ko atin dito. Yung manipis lang. Gusto ko maayos yung dulo nung kilay ko. Kasi pag napapansin ko, ewan ko lang kung ako lang nakakapansin sa picture. Sabog-sabog yung kilay dito sa dulo. Hindi siya ganun na ayos. So, we are done with the brows. Ayusin ko na muna tong binay ko. Make sure na lahat meron. 
So, I'm done baking my face. I'm done with my brows. The next thing I will do is the eyeshadow. It is a graduation day. And for me, napapansin ko lang, kapag graduation, mas maganda ang simple. So, simple lang yung eyeshadow na gagawin natin. Mas simple, mas elegant. So, for our eyeshadow, gagamitin ko tong Maybelline. Maybelline V-Face Blush Contour. Yes, it's a blush contour. Pero, gagamitin ko yung brown dito lang sa as base. Then, sobrang light lang. Then, dito lang siya sa... is, kukuha ko ng konti dito sa blush. etong medyo light pink. Same brush na din yung gagamitin. Very light lang. Then, itong mas dark. See? Then, kukuha tayo para mas intensify yung gilid, yung outer V. Gagamit ako dito sa City Color Barely Expose ng mas dark, this one. Then, let's get a darker one. Ito. Ito, walang name eh. Onting on, bilang na mas dark. Then, saka natin i-blend. Kalat natin. I-wipe up natin yung mga nakakala. Then, kuha tayo, kunin natin itong brown, then itong dark pink. Lagay natin sa under eye. Dahan na tayo sa eyeshadow. Pinkish na brown lang yung nilagay ko. Then, the next thing is maglagay tayo ng konting eyeliner para mas mabuhay yung mata natin. Manipis lang. Konti lang, manipis lang. As you can see, manipis lang yung nilagay ko. For the mascara, I will be using this the Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof. Mura lang to, parang 199. I-curl muna natin yung lashes ko para mas maganda yung outcome niya. Saka natin siya lagyan ng mascara. Pag naglalagay ako ng mascara, pag natuyo, lalagyan ko yung pinakadulo para mas mag-fan out siya. Mas maganda yung outcome. Then, lagyan natin sa under eye. So, we're done with the eyes. The next thing I will do is ko contour ko yung face ko. For contouring, I will be using this Maybelline V Face Blush Contour. Yan. Onti lang. Then, contour din natin yung nose. After contour, punta na tayo sa blush on. I will be using the same palette na V Face. Gagamitin ko, samahin ko yung dalawa. Yung light pink, tsaka yung mas dark. Then, onti. Ah! Ang kapal! It's okay. Papantayin ko na lang. Pataas para medyo fresh. Careful kayo sa blush ng V-Face, ha? Kasi pigmented siya. So, we are almost done with our look. For our lips, I will be using this Maybelline The Powder Matte in the shade Almond Pink. So this is my final look on this tipid graduation makeup tutorial. As you can see, simple lang. And kung napapansin nyo yung hair ko, nilugay ko lang siya kasi ipuponi ko siya or itatali ko siya, may hirapan isuot yung graduation ka. So I decided na ilugay na lang and then i half pony. On this tutorial, lahat ng makeup na ginamit ko is affordable. Madali lang siyang hanapin and pasok sa budget ng students like you. That's it! So, if you think na nakatulong tong video na to, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Again, this is Tony Doritan. See you on my next video. Bye!